Thank you for joining us on this edition of the show. Quite a number of Nigerians would agree that getting good artisans can actually be a challenge. This is exactly the problem a startup is trying to tackle leveraging technology. More on this on the interview segment. But first, let's start off the show with some tech news and updates. This is Tech Trends, and I'm Chukameka Agbata. The first rule of any technology used in a business is that automation applied to an efficient operation will magnify the efficiency. The second is that automation applied to an inefficient operation will magnify the inefficiency. My name is Deba Odulana, a medical doctor and a management consultant in healthcare. I'm also the founder and CEO at Dr. Eod Limited. At Dr. we provide an online platform that allows medical practitioners and their patients book rentable medical facilities to use across multiple locations, thus helping them um, overcome set of costs. Doctora provides an online marketplace where patients can interact with their doctors and doctors interact with facility owners for use. The Nigerian health tech startup is improving healthcare by trying to reduce the rate at which healthcare workers leave the country and also bring medical services closer to patients. It also aims to make Africa especially Nigeria, a destination for medical treatment. Really looking at the situation in the world right now, and especially at Africa, we have only 3% of the global workforce to cater for all the health needs of 11% of the world's population that carries 25%. That's one quarter of the world's global disease burden. And we keep losing doctors on a regular basis. And why is this? Because these doctors cannot enjoy their practice here. They cannot have economically viable businesses running um, and they have to leave to explore other um, opportunities outside the continent. Uh, when we looked at this, we started thinking around how can we provide the right type of facilities so that doctors don't have to travel abroad to enjoy medical practice. Um, we're also looking at how to attract the best professionals across the world to come and practice in Africa uh, so that Africans also don't have to leave Africa for medical treatments. By combining technology with infrastructure, the startup is increasing access to healthcare by providing short term healthcare facility rentals, which enables health professionals to start private practice with ease. So, Doctor, we are bringing together underutilized capacity and creating new capacity in terms of the types of medical facilities that are in demand. At our own facilities, um, of which we own three, um, these facilities are purely outpatient consulting rooms because consulting rooms are by far the most important step in starting your medical uh, treatment or the patient journey, as we could at least say. Uh, the other 27 facilities are partner facilities that I have theatres, wards and the likes whenever we need. So the typical thing is that the doctor who needs a space would already have a booking from his patient and he would come to doctor just to rent a clinic to use for an hour or maybe 20 minutes depending on what they want. Um, the other scenario is that a patient who is looking for a doctor comes on doctor and says, oh I need a dermatologist in Lecky hit the search button and all the dermatologists that have set their availability for Lecky would become um, available to that patient who can now book and then the doctor will meet him in the facility of his choice. I need to book a consulting room in Ogudu. I can choose Ogudu as an option uh, and then I've set the date. So once I click search, it gives me the list of facilities that are available in the location that I've requested, and then I can book based on what I need. So if I want an hourly booking, um, I can select the date. Um, so say tomorrow, 
and then it shows me the different hourly slots that are available. If I want to take from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. or to 6 p.m., I can um, set all that um, and then book. Um, so the cost of my booking is 18,000 Naira. Um, and I'm just gonna go to the checkout, uh, which is loading now. And uh, make the payment. So essentially what this allows me to do is when I have patients that I want to meet me at this particular location, I can always now just send my details. So I've assumed that I've entered my payment details here now and then I click pay. So just a brief overview of what it looks like for a patient that is trying to book me since I set my availability on the other side. I've said that on Monday, um, or rather, my search is that I'm looking for a general practitioner in Ojudu. Since I've already set Ojudu for a few days, I come up on that search, I click book, it shows that I'm a, this is my availability for Ojudu. I pick the days, so these are the days that I've said that I'm going to be available at Ojodu. So maybe I'm trying to book for the 25th. I select that and then it brings out all the timings that I've set for Ojodu uh, for that day. So I want a 2 p.m. time slot for 30 minutes. I select the booking time to be a clinic visit. Um, the reason for my visit, so it's the first time visit. I input my complaints, regular headaches. And then I make my booking. My, the cost has been calculated there. Um, and then I pay. And I should get a notification in my email telling me the details of the location that I'll see the doctor at. Um, and my appointment uh, portal has been updated to show that then I have an appointment with Dr. Debo Dulano. Although funding is a general challenge most startups face, there is more for a health tech startup. The major challenges in this space really um, is growth. Growth is quite challenging for a healthcare startup in Nigeria um, and all the things that are associated to growth mostly, you know, finding the right type of staff, building a team. I think we are losing staff like every quarter. You get people who think they are good enough. Um, if they are good enough, they leave to other companies. If they are not good enough, you need to get them to leave. Um, Getting tech talent as well has been very difficult because developers have really actually just done a serious dent to our, to our growth. Um, the other significant uh, problem really is funding. Um, it's a healthcare startup. Uh, most people haven't seen any exits from healthcare startups. Most people don't understand healthcare. They don't understand the fact that the returns in healthcare actually take a longer period of time. Um, they don't also understand that the adoption and diffusion um, of new stuff, new innovation in healthcare is actually a lot difficult than other industries. With Doctora, doctors can administer their practices entirely online and can rent medical facilities as and when required. 